23 pounds for Amanda. 23.6 pounds. Bigelow Hollow State Park is located in Union, Connecticut. The state park and the adjacent Nipmunk State Forest offer 9,000 acres of recreational opportunities. This map from the Connecticut Walk Book shows our route. We parked at the Bigelow Hollow State Park and took a short connecting trail to the Nipmunk Trail, which we followed for about one and three quarter miles to the south shelter on Breakneck Pond. After setting up our tent, we returned to the Nipmunk Trail and followed it along the pond for three quarters of a mile to the east shelter, where we enjoyed a snack before returning back to camp. All right, we're just about uh, two tenths into the trail and we've uh, now made connection with the Nipmunk Trail. We're heading north. Except for where we parked, most of this adventure will be in Nipmunk State Forest. There are over 35 miles of trails here, including shelters and designated campsites available for overnight backpacking. There are three bodies of water, Mashapog Lake, Bigelow Pond, and Breakneck Pond. Two of the three are accessible via roads, and the third, Breakneck Pond, is only accessible via hiking. Today we'll be camping near the secluded 92-acre Breakneck Pond. Today we're hiking into the South Shelter on Breakneck Pond in Bigelow Hollow State Park. I'm joined by my daughter Amanda who's in from Hawaii. It's going to be a simple uh, overnighter here. Should be fun. We're only hiking about two miles to the shelter or to the campsite. So we're going to set up our tent, uh, get the camp prepped, and then we're going to work our way around Breakneck Pond after we get set up. After about three quarters of a mile, we're both warm enough to uh, get rid of the fleece. About another mile or so to the campsite. All right, we're about 1.8 miles into the hike and the Nipunk Trail brings us out to this uh, old road and we're just about at the campsite. White Blaze is over there, but I can see the shelter over here. We're gonna take a right. Looks like there's plenty of places to set up a tent in this general vicinity. No, but if you do it from a back here, it's the Venturi effect. I saw a video on it. Yeah. It like it. pulls in the air from around it as well. Yeah. Oh, you okay? 
<laughs> That's better than I did. I think you caught the line. Take it. So we're leaving camp now, finally, and we're gonna head to the. No, it took us a half an hour to hang the bear hang. Um, but we're gonna head up to Nipmunk instead. We're gonna go counterclockwise and try to work with the sun. Breakneck Pond is between three and 12 feet deep and drains north to Massachusetts via Breakneck Brook which joins the Quinnebog River. Definitely enjoying the views along the Nipmuc Trail here, the Breakneck Pond. at the East Shelter. Another nice looking shelter here. Kitchen table, fireplace, and a fire grill. And an awesome view of the pond. Might not be a bad place to camp next time. Yeah, the view from the shelter, not bad at all, huh? Self-service is poor here, but it looks like a man managed to get signal over there. Well, it's getting late, sun is setting. We stopped here at the East Shelter for a little bit of snack before we head back to our campsite at the South Shelter. Our tent's all set up. We'll probably get back there, maybe uh, relax a little bit and then figure out how to cook some dinner. Mountain house tonight. Let's go. With daylight fading fast, we opted to take the parallel snow sled road instead of the Nipmunk Trail back to camp. I recommend filling up with water before you reach camp. The water here is shallow and full of vegetation. So we're having pasta primavera and spaghetti with meat sauce tonight. We're back at the south shelter taking advantage of the picnic table, which is a, far enough away from our campsite where we spilled something, the bears and rodents wouldn't bother us in our tent. <laughs> Stir carefully and close zipper, wait five minutes. Stir again. give you yours first. Unless you're that kind of hungry than you are. Don't matter. I'm slower eater than you. I know that yeah, much. But. Right. <laughs> how long does it take for weight? How long does it take to rehydrate? That's the key. Five minutes. Each four? of them are five minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, five minutes, sir, again, and reseal. Let's stay an additional four minutes, sir, and enjoy. Yours is the same thing. Okay. Be careful with the spork. Yep. <laughs> Because of the poke a hole. Mm -hmm. I've heard, I've heard. Close it up again for four more minutes. It's kind of creamy, but it's awfully liquidy. Yeah. Every time they say put something in, I always get burned by the putting in what they say. Who you got? 
Four more minutes, so I'm going to set. Sounds good, you want a break? It's a little hot, so don't take a full bite without blowing on it. <laughs> yeah, I think I had that before. Yeah, I feel like I had this one with you before. Did you? Yeah. signal either. I had some by the other shelter. Yeah. What time is it now? It's like not even eight. It's 1950. 1950, which is 7.50 7 p.m. PM. We're in the tent. We're all changed off. We're waiting for the temperature to drop to about 40 degrees tonight. We have no cell service. We'll have no choice but to sit here and talk to each other or go to sleep. We'll see what wins out in the long run. I like talking. But good good <laughs> night so far. And the tent seems to be big enough. This is only my second night in this tent. And the first time having somebody else with me. So it's pretty roomy <laughs> in here too. Yeah, it's not bad. Alright. We'll see you in the morning then. Talk to you later. Alright, it's about quarter to seven this morning. Temperature went down. May have gone down to forty, but it was about fifty when we got up this morning. Um, there's a little bit of condensation in here which is to be expected with a single wall tent. I would say our sleeping bags were a little damp, but no real wetness. So I would say it's a it's a big win. Tent did all right for a single wall tent. That's what you kind of expect, a little bit of condensation. Probably could have opened the doors a little bit more um, to maybe create more airflow through here. You were warm last night, right? Yeah, good. Yeah, all right. sleeping bag was warm. We're gonna uh, try and grab some quick breakfast and pack up and head on out back to the car. Stay late all the time. I feel like I could just spark it here, Brian. Oh, whoopsies. <laughs> I just leave it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was like this is It's right here. It's right here. This is the bag for oatmeal. <laughs> it sure is. That one's high. Man, this happened to be an instant. Starbucks. With everything packed up, it was time to return to the car. To mix things up, we took the park road back. If you're interested in seeing more of my backpacking adventures, be sure to check out my backpacking playlist. I'll leave the link above. This morning we're hiking out on the park road which runs parallel to the Nipmuc Trail. Probably no shorter, but probably a little bit smoother. 